Good morning, or depending on when you're watching this, good afternoon, good evening, or good night. My name's Ross, and as always, told out of voice of radio. So today, I am absolutely delighted. Because you see, ladies and gentlemen, I was watching the Milwaukee stream at the weekend. The regional stream, the lovely stream. I was getting very excited about it. And while I was watching the stream... Something happened, you know, something just popped up on the screen as a nice little, you know, nice little tease towards the end. And what popped up on the stream was, well, this image. As the Play Pokemon program continues to resume in-store events, we've been working on some awesome promo prize packs that can be earned by going to participating Play Pokemon Store League events. More details to come soon. This is awesome. Now... If you're a newer player, this might not really mean too much to you. It might seem kind of interesting, but you might not remember. If, however, you were playing before September 2009, this is going to make you think, hang on a second, Pop Packs are back. You see, what used to happen, and I've got to give a shout out to Bulbapedia here, both for the images of the pop packs and for reminding me about some of the information. Bulbapedia is a pretty cool website for stuff like that. We can go and have a look. And there was Pop 1 that came around. This was the first set. So Pop 1 came around and it was given out at leagues between September 2004 and August 2005. It lasted for ages. And essentially what it was is you would go to league and basically, if I remember correctly, you would get yourself a little kind of card. And every time you played a game, you'd stamp the card. And when you got to a certain point on the card, you'd get a Pop Series 1 pack. Uh, try and pick these up nowadays, ladies and gentlemen, for a reasonable price. Um, yeah. Shall we say, not terribly easy. I'm going having a little bit of a look on eBay. There is actually a sealed Pop 1 pack on eBay for $40, which is way cheaper than I expected. Although, look, you could get an EX in there or you could not. We'll get to that in a second. Be very careful buying random loose packs of this, all right? But basically, what happened was that you would get yourself a pack and in that pack, you would get yourself two additional cards. And to be clear, the odds of pulling the good rare cards were very, 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 very low. So you had to keep going back to p play Pokemon Leagues and all of that. And that was good. But you could actually, in those packs, get yourself an Almodo EX and a Tyranitar EX. Which is awesome. One thing that is very much worth noting... These have the Pop 1 symbol on. So, we're not just talking about random reprint cards here. The Tyranitar EX was actually a brand new card, which you could not get anywhere else. And the Armado, again, was a brand new card that you could not get anywhere else. These were exclusive Pokemon EXs. Although, weirdly, they didn't have all the hollow pattern around, which was very strange. My point is, these were very, very cool. And this was around for about a year. The rest of them tended to be around for somewhere in the region of six months. And they kept going until we got to Pop 9, which was given out between March 2009 and September 2009. By that point, unfortunately, EXs were gone. There was none of that. But there was still a Regigigas that you could get that was exclusive. And there was a Garchomp that you could get that was exclusive. And you know what? That's all right by me, ladies and gentlemen. That's all right by me. And again, these were exclusive cards. There were a bunch of reprints in these packs, let's be clear. But there were brand new exclusive cards that could not be gotten anywhere else. And some of them were pretty cool. Now, when it actually came to a head, the one that really got people excited was Pop 5. And the reason why Pop 5 was so redonk is because Espeon Star and Umbreon Star could only be gotten in these packs. These were given out March 2007 to September 2007. And oh my goodness, ladies and gentlemen, they, um, yeah, they got silly. They were only available as play promotional cards over in Japan. They were only brought over here in Pop 5. If you want to get a Pop 5 pack, 
because there is a chance of getting the Umbreon and the Espeon Star. I mean, the first two listings we've got on eBay here are for about $550. Because you could pull the Espeon or the Umbreon. Obviously, the, the pull rates are very low. But this is where it really came to a head. If you want pop packs, this is the pinnacle of them. And if you've got a pop five pack, you can open it to try and look for one. Might I suggest not doing that? Because your chance of getting it are very low. And, um, well, the value will be destroyed, I think it's fair to say. So, these were cool. These were given out for a few years. You'd go to League, and every time you played a few games, you'd get yourself one of these packs. And they were awesome. And they stopped them in 2009. That was 13 years ago. Now, I use this as an example because I don't know what these new packs are going to be. But in terms of packs of cards given out at League, it's pop packs. That's what we've had in the past. We've had plenty of League promos over the years. But what we haven't had is pop packs at least since 2009. So I don't know what these are going to look like. But the fact of the matter is, we are in a stage now where it, it's been a while, I think is fair to say, since we were really caught up with Japan. I mean, to use a completely selfish example, because I love it, the Kamala. The Kamala that came around in well over in japan at least came around in sword and shield 10 really nice ability saying your opponent doesn't take a prize if it's ko'd when it's sleeping awesome high gonna suke artwork as it stands at the moment that card doesn't exist in english and you got to imagine that at some point in the not too distant future it will you got to imagine that card's going to be getting an english language release but as it stands at the moment it's just not happening there is no English language release on the horizon. Now, it's probably going to just be put into a future set. But there does come a point where there's just too many cards. Where there's just too many to actually deal with. Remember, our Astral Radiance set is made up of Battle Region in Japan, Space Juggler in Japan, and Time Gazer in Japan. We're still missing a whole bunch of cards from the 100 start decks. There does come a point where we're just missing a whole bunch of cards. This would be a decent way to actually go and get those cards back. That would make sense. Now, I'm not saying that's actually going to happen but i am saying that could that would make sense this would be a way for them to catch up and you know what i am all in favor of it we don't know exactly what this is going to look like and incidentally i don't imagine we're going to go back to a stage where it's play a few games get a pack it just doesn't seem, nowadays, I don't know, this is a complete conjecture on my part, nowadays it seems like it would be a case of turn up, get a pack, turn up, get a pack. It just feels like there's too many people that would try and game the system. I hope I'm wrong about that, but I don't know. Part of me worries that that's going to happen, and that's a little bit sad. My point here is very simple. We don't know exactly what's going on with this. What we do know is that these packs in some way are coming back. And I don't know exactly how they're coming back, but I know they are coming back. And I know that we're getting these promo packs and this is awesome. Are there going to be exclusive Pokemon V cards and V star cards that we've never seen anywhere else? I've got to imagine probably not. Are there going to be exclusive cards that you cannot find anywhere else? I think so. These could just be reprints. Absolutely, they could. But they're bringing these packs back. The packs before, and when I say they're bringing them back, I don't mean they're going to be called pop packs. I mean there is no real difference between pop packs and these in that we're talking about packs of promo cards that are being given out at League. And I should say they are described as promo cards, promo pies packs. So that would suggest they got promo cards in, not just random regular cards. And you know what this is going to do? This is going to get people to go to League. Now, I'm a very busy dude. I don't get to go to League very often for pretty obvious reasons. Free kids, YouTube, all that good stuff. If there are exclusive promo packs 
which can only be gotten if I go to league, you had better believe I'm going to find some time. I'm going to carve some time out to get to league occasionally so I can go and grab some of those prize packs because, oh my goodness, I would want them. Maybe they'll be super cool full of exclusive cards. Maybe they'll be full of just a bunch of bulk that doesn't fit into regular sets. Maybe they'll be something completely different. But if you like the Pokemon TCG and if you're watching this channel and you've gotten this far in the video, I rather suggest you do. You should be really, really excited about this. This is huge news and this is going to get a whole bunch of people running back to League. And I love it, ladies and gentlemen. I love it. But I want to know what you think. So let me know in the comment section, would you? Good us. Be nice. And then make sure you like this video, subscribe to this channel, follow me on Twitter at the Wasi, and Twitch for some live action at twitch.tv slash PTCG Radio. If you want to support the channel, get some bonus podcasts and all that good stuff, head on over to patreon.com slash PTCG Radio, where you can do exactly that. But by far the most important thing as always, look after yourselves till next time, would ya? Thank you very much for watching. My name's Ross, and you've been watching PTCG Radio.